Hi, hi, and welcome to Strap a Watch, Michael Knapp, Michael Knapp Leather. Trying out a new camera over here that follows me as I move around, it has face recognition, so sorry on this camera, but, so just testing some things, always trying out some new stuff with the channel. Welcome, happy Memorial Weekend. I'm filming this on Saturday of Memorial Weekend. For those of you around the world that don't know about the United States' Memorial Day, it's where we commemorate the ultimate sacrifice given by those in our armed forces for our freedoms and have given their lives. And so our hearts go out to the family members and loved ones of anybody who has paid that ultimate price in our armed forces. So today and this morning, I had called one of uh, my customers, a, a subscriber, and his name is Matt. He lives in Reno, Nevada. You know, I'm in Florida. I don't know the exact time zone difference, two or three hours. I think it's three hours. And so I, I had to have called him pretty early for him. I think it was around 11 for myself. So, you know, what is that? Uh, eight o'clock in the morning there, Saturday morning. And he answered and we had a great conversation. And the thing is, he has the Rolex Z Blue dial, just like mine, the Mill Gauss with the Z Blue dial. And he had seen the episode where I had made this tan Italian shell cordovan. It's called Riccato, Riccato Italian Shell Cordovan. I did this last year and did a review on the watch. And that's what prompted him to order a strap. And he also saw that I had just gotten in some Horween Shell Cordovan. And so that's what he ordered, a tan Horween Shell Cordovan. Well, the thing is, I'm getting ready to ship it out this morning, and I noticed this one little mark. And I'm like, oh man. Because I had already had some issues with his strap this week, okay? And one of which is the first one I started on Wednesday. <laughs> and so I'll show you this one up close. You see all the little holes that I made for the buckle holes on the point end? My concept was to offer some more flexibility and comfortability to be able to interchange and get that real proper fit with the buckle on your watch. Well, great concept, good idea. It doesn't function well at all. What it is is the leather's so thin right there that it really warps it and it would just over time it would just fail and so i no i had to start over so i started over and typically i go a two millimeter taper to the point end and to the buckle i don't know why i got my template out that was 20 to 16 and this was is 16 so it was too thin it's like oh no so friday night last night I start another one, I get done this morning, and lo and behold, there's this mark on those strap. I'm like, oh my gosh. So that's why I called him. And we ended up having a great conversation. We talked about all kinds of things. And one of the things we ended up discussing was Rolex the brand and the Z Blue dial. And I'm gonna share some other things as well. So stick around, you're gonna see me hand make his strap and what we discussed on the phone. I'll be right back after the intro. Thank you so much for joining me today on Strap A Watch and once again, happy Memorial Weekend. And, you know, this is the weekend here in the United States where typically families and friends and everybody, we're all getting together and barbecuing and all kinds of fun stuff together, going out on boats and motorcycles and doing, you know, whatever it is that you do on a three-day weekend. And, um, you know, it's just so crazy with what's going on with the virus and all the crap. You know, thank God I live in Florida 
where we really never lost any of our real freedoms, you know. We never really did. I mean, there's some states that are still under total lockdown. I'm originally from Michigan, and I mean, it's oh boy, it's just crazy stuff. I'm so grateful I live in Florida now. So here's the tan shell cordovan, horween shell cordovan, and no, those other straps will not go to waste. I will actually wear that one with all of the little holes that I made just to test it out. And the other one, you know, the 20 to 16, I have, uh, you know, that Grand Seiko of mine that goes to a 16 millimeter. So I could always switch it out with that as well. But the thing is, that's a 19 millimeter lug. So I'm going to show you guys something here. Check this out. So this is the blue Shinki Haikaku shell cordovan I had recently made on a show a few weeks ago for my Rolex Milgauss. And uh, today, I just took it off the Rolex so I could put on the tan strap to showcase that. And I put it on my Christopher Ward because that was uh, the, the watch that the tan one was on. And boy, did that look cool or what? Did it match well? That Man, I just, I, I'll tell you. And that's what's so cool. Even Matt and I talked about it, how straps, and it's an old saying of mine is, you know, having different straps it's like one watch becomes multiple watches it really changes the whole overall look of the watch and these are curved lug pins so and the reason is check this out you'll see a little mark right there next to the watch head all right and that is the reason i did the old switcheroo last year when i ma made this took it off the milgauss put it on the Christopher Ward Trident GMT, because there was more space on that watch head, the Christopher Ward. And through trial and error of just making a number of straps for my Milgauss, I kept noticing, oh, it's, cute. it's you know this little mark right there. Unless you get it real thin. So like with an alligator, you can get alligator real thin and it's still super strong. So no problem there. But with especially Shell Cordovan is a very tough, kind of thicker leather. So you have to skive it down. You have to thin it down. And you'll be seeing me doing that here in just a moment. Right here. This is skiving. Okay. So I had to really skive it down. And, um, and then also form it so that it was curved. And those, those curved lug pins could fit in there. So that's why, just trial and error. And, and Matt, I think he was kind of happy because he was going to totally order quick release lug pins. And I said, nope, nope, don't do it because I'm going to have to special order you some of these curved lug pins and, and you'll be happy that you did because that way we're going to alleviate leaving that pretty substantial mark over time. And this will be all the gluing process you'll be watching me do. So this conversation this morning between Matt and I and talking about Rolex and he's the one who brought it up of just how amazed he and I both are of the Rolex brand just how powerful and strong it is and the way they built this brand you know he's a business owner and I'm a business owner so we get it I mean branding is is such a key man it just is and we talked about a lot of the newer micro brands, especially the ones coming up here in the States. Uh, just so proud of those. All fellow entrepreneurs, I just love them. You know, the people that put their hide out on the line and, and have some faith in themselves and their ability and don't listen to the naysayers and start their own company. That's, that's what America is all about. And you know, it should be everywhere around the world. That's how commerce is done. That's how the world goes around. Um, you know, working for somebody else, man, I, I hated that feeling. You're just like a slave. You know, the only way to get away from that feeling and hating your boss is become your own boss. Start your own business, you know. So right here, you don't see that mark. So that's why I know I had to have done it somehow. And here you can see it. So it's right over that guy's head. It's a little teeny mark. Oh, man. Uh, I see it and I just cringe. So listen, you know what I did? And that's why I called him. I wanted him to be aware. And, I'll, and I said, I'll make you another one. 
you know, I'll make you another one, which would have been like the third strap, fourth strap for this guy, <laughs> you know. So I didn't want to have to make another one. And I sent him pictures as we're on the phone. I'm taking pictures and texting him to show him. And I even showed him, you know, the other experiments that I had done. There's the Islander Aviator from Mark at Long Island Watch I was sporting right there. But see, here's the, the curved lug pins. So this is final product. I've got his strap on my watch. And there's the buckle. Pretty cool, man. And you'll see right here, it'll flash by. There's that mark. <laughs> it's so, gosh. Now, so there it is. There it is. Now, I, you know, anything that's ever a miss, you know, I can see it a mile away, but maybe not everybody could. But he was so cool. He's like, no big deal. It had happened a couple other times, and it was both, both other times it was on the underneath side. And I contacted both of those guys and said, hey, there's an issue here. Send them pictures. Oh, we don't care. You know, the people are so cool about it, really. If you're just up front, but if you ever bought a strap from me and it wasn't 100% to your satisfaction, you would let me know and I'd make you a whole new one for free. So listen, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, happy Memorial Day. God bless you all. And until the next show, keep on ticking. Keep on ticking.